Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Got to talk about some exciting news. And then there is also a brand new Humble Monthly. I want to go over the unlocks from last month real quickly. Also want to go over the early unlock for this month, which is Destiny 2. You can get that for $12. Typically does go for full price. But Destiny 2 definitely isn't the most popular game in the world, but I'll talk about that anyway. And then also, probably more exciting, NVIDIA has pulled the plug on the GeForce Partner Program. It is over. Thanks to, I guess, all of the complaining. I don't like using the word complaining because it kind of sounds negative, but the fact that all of us were so vocal about it, NVIDIA had to pull the plug on it. So I'll go over the statement that they put out as well because that is some exciting news and goes to show if you speak up, things will get done. So first, let's talk about Humble Monthly. So the brand new early unlock is Destiny 2. So you can pick it up right now for $12. You get Destiny 2 right away. You'll get a key for it. It'll be redeemed on Blizzard's Battle.net service. You'll be able to download and play it right away. The rest of the Humble Monthly bundle will be available on the first Friday of June, which I believe is June 1st, actually. So that's pretty good. $12 for Destiny 2 isn't bad. I know Destiny 2 isn't the most popular game in the world. Personally speaking, I played a lot of the first Destiny. I never really gave Destiny 2 a shot outside of dabbling in the PC version just a little bit. These grindy games really aren't my cup of tea anymore, but I know the issue with Destiny 2 really comes from the fact that there's a lot of DLC to this game so if you really want the full destiny 2 experience you're gonna have to dabble into the dlc so bear that in mind and honestly speaking there's probably gonna be a destiny 2 complete edition released down the line so if you're not eager to play it right now it may pay off in the future to hold off and then wait for a destiny 2 complete edition if you want to play it anyway i know for a lot of you guys you just want to stay away from this altogether we do have free to plays on pc like warframe but hey at the very least i can say that destiny 2 is a really solid port it runs really well on pc so that's good and if you do want it i'll leave a link down below in the description box you can check it out and of course if you use the link in the description box the channel gets a little bit of a kickback so i always appreciate that on top of the rest of the bundle unlocking on the first friday of next month you also get 10 percent off everything in the humble store and there are usually some pretty good deals available so you get 10 percent added off on a lot of those great deals Moving on from that, I also do want to go over the unlocks for the month of May. On top of Kerbal Space Program, Dead Rising 4, and Ruiner, which were the early unlocks, you also had Running With Rifles, got a 78 on Metacritic, very positive reception on Steam. Moon Hunters was actually a game given as a part of this bundle, like that game quite a bit, a four-player cooperative RPG. Really solid art style, so that's pretty good. Crazy Machines 3 was given, Jalopy was given, NBA Playground, and then the humble original title was Nightclub, a two-to-four-player action platform fighting game. That brings traditional fighting game elements into an unlocked freeform movement playstyle. So there you have it with that. If you did end up subscribing for the month of May, honestly, not the best month, but given that it is only $12 right away, getting Dead Rising 4, Kerbal Space Program, and Ruiner was very much worth it. So you can look at all the other games as gravy. If you want to give next month a shot, link is down below in the description box. You'll get Destiny 2 for $12. Moving on from that, how about some super exciting news? NVIDIA has pulled the plug on the GeForce Partner Program. This has been one of the hot topics in the entire PC gaming world recently, and it was really NVIDIA trying to put even more of a foothold into the GPU market, but we were very vocal about it, and now it has come to pass. An official post was on the NVIDIA blog, and it states this, quote, a lot has been said recently about our GeForce partner program. The rumors, conjecture, and misroutes go far beyond its intent. Rather than battling misinformation, we have decided to cancel the program. GPP had a simple goal, ensuring that gamers know what they are buying and can make a clear choice. I want to finish the blog post before I say anything, but that already irritates me. But let's finish the blog post. NVIDIA creates cutting-edge technologies for gamers. We have dedicated our lives to it. We do our work at a crazy intense level, investing billions to invent the future and ensure that amazing NVIDIA tech keeps coming. We do this work because we know gamers love it and appreciate it. Gamers want the best GPU tech. GPP was about making sure gamers who want NVIDIA tech get NVIDIA tech. With GPP, we asked our partners to brand their products in a way that would be crystal clear. The choice of GPU greatly defines a gaming platform so the GPU brand should be clearly transparent. No substitute GPUs hidden behind a pile of techno jargon. Most partners agreed. They own their brands and GPP didn't change that. They decide how they want to convey their product promises to gamers. Still today, we are pulling the plug on GPP to avoid any distraction from the super exciting work we're doing to bring amazing advances to PC gaming. This is a great time to be a GeForce partner and be a part of the fastest growing gaming platform in the world. The GeForce gaming platform is rich with the most advanced technology and with GeForce experience, it's the way it's meant to be played. So that is the entire blog post. I'll leave a link to it 
in the description box if you want to read it for yourself. But man, that first paragraph just right away really irritates me. You know what? All of this is positive. At least it's over. But man, does this post just reek of damage control. NVIDIA knew they messed up. NVIDIA figured it out that we're not that stupid. We saw through everything they were saying. And hey, I guess at this point, the majority of gamers are going to see it as water under the bridge. It didn't come to pass. So that is a good thing. As you guys know, I'm a big proponent of NVIDIA hardware. I always run NVIDIA GPUs in my main rig. But even I had to point out this insane BS that they were trying to pull. This is just so anti-consumer. It's not even funny. And all it was was NVIDIA trying to own the market. And NVIDIA owning the market would be absolutely horrendous for the consumer, you and me, that buy these GPUs on a yearly or bi-yearly basis. I mean, at this point, it's kind of hard to buy GPUs given the fact that they're so expensive, but the prices are going down. So you get the idea. This is just good. And I feel like the GPU market is really in an upswing right now. This has been done away with. GPU prices are going down. It just seems like an exciting time. And at least things are getting better in terms of building a PC. And the whole PC world right now I feel like is in an upswing so yeah the gamers win again I feel like this happens quite a bit when PC gamers band together and call out BS for what it is things will happen things do get done and we win again how about that I feel like with this this was really a united front with people against GPP even those of you like me that use Nvidia hardware daily you just saw this as complete BS and it was pretty easy to understand what Nvidia was trying to pull with this how anti-consumer this really was and it seemed like even the more ardent fanboys understood this. Even though the most extreme of extreme fanboys were defending it. Yes, I did see that on Twitter. Yes, I did see that on YouTube comments. That just boggled my mind. I couldn't believe that there were people that extreme of a fanboy where they were pro-GPP. That is just ridiculous to me. But hey, it's over and done with now. On to greener pastures. So that's gonna wrap up this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Again, if you wanna check out Destiny 2, it's a part of the Humble Monthly and it is the early unlock for the month month of June. The rest of the bundle will be unlocked on June 1st. You can check Destiny 2 out right now for $12. Also, I really want to hear you guys' thoughts on NVIDIA ending the GeForce Partner Program. Pretty exciting stuff. Always be vocal on the side that is pro-consumer because that is how you are going to get the best product possible for the lowest price possible. That's going to wrap up this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.